Hello everyone, welcome to today's video, and today I want to talk about something very special to me, and that's Star Trek. Now, if I haven't outed myself as a total nerd by now, duh, but recently they announced that they were going to make a new series for Star Trek, a new TV series. Finally, the guys at CBS got a proctologist to find their head, and they're going to make a new Star Trek series. And while that sounds promising, one of the biggest fears between myself and other original fans of Star Trek is that this is going to be taking place in the reboot series, in the reboot universe. And while that's not necessarily a terrible thing, I'm going to be giving my reasons why I think it should be taking place in the Prime Universe, and why I think that would just simply make more sense. First and foremost, the biggest reason why I think that the new Star Trek series should be taking place in the Prime Universe versus the Reboot Universe is simply that Star Trek has always been about looking towards the future, about looking towards a better and brighter version of mankind united with creatures and aliens from across the stars, driving for a better tomorrow. And part of that, the majority of that, is exploration. There are so many undiscovered worlds in the Prime Universe, there are sections of the galaxy that haven't been touched yet, and there's just so much more room for expansion and new characters, new aliens, and new worlds. Whereas if you box yourself in, in the Reboot Universe, you're kind of sticking to that timeline from the 60s, the original series timeline, which is primarily set in the Alpha Quadrant, and that's not necessarily a terrible thing, but it just limits you right from the get-go, unless you want to take a lot of creative liberties, and then you're kind of trampling over all the original canon. Creating a new series in the Prime Universe would be massive for character expansion, while also creating new and interesting characters and fleshing them out. I mean, how excited would you be to see Patrick Stewart be Jean-Luc Picard again in a recurring role in a TV series? I would be dying to see that. But not just with Cap uh, Captain Picard, you could also see the continuation of other stories, such as what happened to Captain Sisko at the end of Deep Space Nine, what was Captain Catherine Janeway's return to Earth like after Voyager ended. And on a side note, it would be best to utilize Patrick Stewart as much as humanly possible simply because of his age. I. I hate to think that I'm going to be living in a world where we've already seen so many wonderful celebrities die, but I'm going to be so sad the day that we lose Ian McKellen, Patrick Stewart, George Takei, and the list goes on and on. And I'm sorry, that's Sir Ian McKellen and Sir Patrick Stewart. I digress. Having these deep, established characters that took years to develop, mingling with new characters you're trying to develop, it's a, it's a recipe for success, and it's been demonstrated numerous times before where they've had older characters from the original series mix it up with characters from the new series. The most prominent example is one of my favorite, and that is the episode Relics from TNG, where Scotty was trapped in a transport buffer, he ended up on the Enterprise D, and him and Captain Picard were talking on the holodeck on the bridge of the original Enterprise. You'll be able to find more out about new characters while exchanging dynamics between old ones and just creating these deeper characters and seeing aspects of their personality you wouldn't otherwise see because you have these special characters bringing them out in ways that you wouldn't expect to see. The Prime Universe would also be best simply because Star Trek has always been about the storytelling, it's been about the underlying themes, it's been about finding out things about yourself while learning things about the universe as you kind of roll along. And in essence, that's kind of what life is. You don't really know a whole lot, but as things go on, you learn bit by bit, you explore new things about yourself and others, and you learn a ton along the way. And that story model fits perfect, perfectly from a budget perspective, because if you think about it, Star Trek as a TV series, budget-wise, has never been able to be the big action blockbuster that the reboot films have been. It's always been about an enthralling story first, and then the action conveys the emotions of that story. Whereas the reboot films, there are emotions behind the story, but it's primarily an action film. There's not really a sense of exploration or discovering new worlds. It's more of a sense of getting from point A to point B in a story with a ton of action in the middle. It doesn't make the movies bad. I thoroughly enjoyed the movies. It was an interesting take on Star Trek, but to full-blown fans who've been around since the 90s and potentially the 60s, they know that that's not entirely what Star Trek is all about. But again, does that make them wrong? No, this is all simply my opinion. I know there are some people out there that completely agree with me. There are people out there who think I'm a jackass for even bringing some of this up. But again, that's the beauty of this. It's a beauty of speculation. You can get people's feedback, and you can also offer a little bit of your own. I will say this, though. As a Star Trek fan, in any way, in any way, shape, or form, I am glad that there is a new Star Trek series coming. I... I sincerely hope they put in the Prime Universe, I sincerely hope they continue after the events of Star Trek Nemesis to see how Ca Captain Riker is handling the Titan, how Captain Picard's handling his loss, get some closure on Benjamin Sisko, and see the evolution of Catherine Janeway upon her return to Earth. And simply put, to me, keeping everything in the Prime Universe isn't just a safe bet, it's a sure thing. Alright, well thank you guys so much for watching today's video, my little 
ramble about why I think the new Star Trek series should take place in the Prime Universe versus the Reboot Universe. What do you think about it? Do you like Star Trek? What's your favorite series, your favorite episode? Let me know down below. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Check out my Twitch TV channel. I'll put links in the description box below. And if you're new around here, please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, thank you guys so much. And as always, have a great night.